Hello, and welcome to this build guide. So first of all, I just want to say that I had mixed feelings about Hildren, um, about how she looked. I didn't really like a colour scheme. In fact, I don't really like most of the default Warframe colour schemes, except maybe Atlas. But that opinion has changed. Um, she looks like a Spartan, like a space Spartan, and I think that's really fucking cool. Also, the Edo Prime Armour set uh, just really brings that out, um, especially with the whole shield gimmick thing. So, build-wise, she was actually quite difficult to build, um, doing some tests of all different stuff, and I feel like my build um, encompasses quite a few things in her build, uh, in her kit that she can use. Um, she was actually far more difficult to build than Baruch. Baruch was fairly one-sided for me in most other Warframes, cause, you know, but the whole shield gimmick thing made me have to like really rethink how I uh, how I built her and stuff because you know relying on shields as you can see that health pool is pretty abysmal 525 health um, so I'm just gonna quickly go over her abilities and how they work and then I'll show you the builds so first of all her passive become invulnerable for a brief moment after shields are depleted this ability is restored when shields fully recharged this is a great an absolutely great survivability tool um, especially when you're utilizing your shields, maybe you're not looking, um, you know, it's, it, you're on a 60 minute survival and oh no, you weren't looking because you looked at your dog and your dog was doing a dance and now you've got zero shields, but it's fine, you're n you now become invulnerable for a few seconds. This also enables shield recharge, um, which I will show you on the mods. Uh, to synergize really well because whilst you're invulnerable, it gives your time, it gives your shields time to recharge a little bit during that time um, and yeah it's just a great survival tool um, Balefire charge and launch devastating bolts is her exalted weapon it's very 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 strong oh my god it's amazing I love it it's, it's great honestly I feel like I'm playing Anthem when I when I look at this ability it's, it's pretty standard you uh, it, it's like a secondary you just shoot it. Um, it, it you can charge it but honestly you don't need to charge it you just gotta spam click it and it's, it's like a little grenade launcher with maybe with tougher enemies, bigger enemies, you can charge it. Um, but for me, most of the time, you don't need to charge it. Moving on, shield pillage, pillage a percentage of shields and armor for nearby enemies to replenish children's own shields and overshields. So basically, you cast it, a big area comes out around you, it then goes back into you, and that's when you get your shields. Um, it drains armor as well, which is fantastic. Compared, uh, well, in conjunction with corrosive projection. This is actually great against Grenier, um, etc, etc, it's, it's, it's great. Uh, I have low duration, as you can see, 0 0.8. It's just because, like I said, you cast it, it goes out, then it comes in, then you get your shield. So when it's low, you don't have to fuck with uh, spam press pressing it again. You just press it, it's done, out, in, you got your shields. Moving on. Uh, Haven. Create a shield aura around allies. Enemies that approach shielded allies will take damage. This is a sort of crappier version of Trinity's blessing slash kind of her um, her other abilities I don't know just Trinity uh, basically you cast it all your allies get shields they themselves deal AoE damage which is pretty weak it's not that great um, the shield recharge is low just because the duration is low, which is fine. This build's not really for these two abilities. It's more this is like situational. Use this, you cast this to survive. It's more for these two abilities. Um, I have another build to show you off these two abilities, but yeah, um, it's okay. For a support, it's actually it's actually it's fine. You just turn it on and off. You go. It's just, it's really easy. It's easy supporting. It's like Lucio and Overwatch. Age of Storm, so take the skies, rain bell fire rockets down on enemy, nearby enemies are blasted into the air where they will create an energy orb every few seconds. When shields run out, enemies are smashed into the ground. So basically, you float up in the air, you play Anthem, you, you fly around, you shoot people with your bell fire. Um, when, you're, when they're in the vicinity, uh, which I will show you, they go up into the air, they get CC'd, stunned, and they start spewing out energy orbs. Those energy orbs are converted into shields because obviously you don't use energy. So you get free energy, it's it's great, your teammates get energy, um, you get to play Anthem in Warframe. So if, that, if that's for you, it's it's great. Honestly, it's, 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 it's fine. It's good ability, it's good CC, all that stuff. Um, they're, they're great synergy, yada, yada, yada. 
and that's that. Okay, so these are my two builds. Like I said, main survival is built for Balefire and Age of Storm, and support is built for Shield Pillage and Haven. So main survival, starting off, Corrosive Projection. Great, Corrosive Projection, so most Warframes, produce armor, especially coupled with Shield Pillage, even on this build, it's great. Um, yeah, moving on, Redirection. Obviously staple because of Hildren and her shields. This is brilliant. Vitality. Needed. This is needed, in my opinion. You could swap this out for Vigor, um, but this is this is definitely needed. 525 health, even with this vitality on, it is poor. It's so poor, and especially especially with those slash procs, those toxin procs, if they hit you, you've lost your health, you're dead. Screw your shields, you're dead. You know, you need this. This leads me on to adaptation. Adaptation protects you from those procs, not all the time, but most of the time. Um, obviously this is a late game kind of mod if you can't get your hands on it there are other mods like antitoxin which um, removes I can find it quickly antitoxin aviator um, this also aviator and antitoxin that's ah, fine anyway aviator uh, reduces damage by 10% when airborne I'm pretty sure this does work with your ultimate but I haven't tested it, and frankly, I'm not really fussed because it's fine, um, as I'll explain. Adaptation, this is this is what you should get your hands on if you can't. Antitoxin, Aviator. Uh, antitoxin, what that does, I know I can't find it, but Antitoxin will reduce toxin damage, but it won't reduce slash procs. So it's, it's good for, if you don't have it, it's budget, it's fine, it's all good. Augur Accord, there is an argument to be made um, with Augur Accord, so 100% more shields, uh, Vigilante Vigor, couple this with Fast, as fast Deflection, which is 90% shield recharge, this is 6% shield recharge, you could swap these out uh, just because of the passive, so when you hit the passive, you go invulnerable, you, sh you charge more shields whilst you're down, and then when, you're, when you become vulnerable again, you're just straight up into the air, you've got like 2,000 shields because you've They've been depleted and you're back up into the air shooting things. Um, for me personally, I like Augur Record just because I like being up in the air longer. Um, because it goes down to like 3,000 health, um, which is fine. I just like it. Augur Record is, is good. Fleeing Expertise is Ability Efficiency. So I can cast my Q uh, and my Ultimate and it drains less. This is fairly staple and it also brings my... Nicely it brings my ability duration down so I can cast this nice and quickly in and out bang good survivability um, This is a good two, two for one here uh, Stretch simply because of the more range more range means I can get short pillage out further and also the Explosion radius so it goes to 4.35 with stretch which is absolutely great So you shoot one enemy and it will hit the other uh, it's like a little like a little grenade launcher intensify just to increase the strength so if i take intensify off it goes to 115 um, that goes to 575 damage and that takes my bail fire down to 20k when it is actually on if i put intensify on there it is I put Intensify on, and now it's up to 25,000 uh, 25, corrosive damage. So 25,000 damage, that's a lot of damage. And this, this, is, this, is, on, this is on like my lower strength build, so th that's a lot of damage. Power Drift, this is completely optional. The default X um, former slot is a Vazarin, which and the only Vaz Vazarin extra slot I had is Ice Spring, um, which is pretty crap, so I swapped it out for Power Drift, which is more strength. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much the build. Um, as far as arcanes go, I don't have any except this one, which is mobility. Um, so I don't really know much about the arcanes. I guess something to do with shields um, or health, possibly. Um, moving on from that, I will show you the support build. So now utilizing both these two instead. So the duration's gone up to 3.58 seconds. Uh, the shield drains 55%, which is massive. Um, I can't fit a slot on here just because I don't want a former again, as it's very, very early in the morning for me. <laughs> uh, I want to get this video out today, so 
uh, maybe another time I'll formal this up. Um, I feel like it's just a little min-maxing and it's fine, whatever. So Corrosive Objection, the core here, Vitality, Redirection, Adaptation, Auger Record, the core. Um, changing over, I have Auger Message, which is Ability Duration. Again, adding the duration, Intensify, adding more Strength, Blind Rage, which lowers the efficiency, which is fine for this build because Shield Pillage. So when I cast this, it costs more, sure, but I gain so much more out of it. I gain my, my shields go way up, way higher than they do on the other build. And that enables me, I can keep recasting this, and that enables me to keep Haven on, which is the whole point of the support build. Uh, this this build is less so useful for the Age of Storm, uh, just because of the drain. It's 150, 20, 20 drain a second. It's pretty pretty rough. Um, but you can still use Balefire, which is up to 1,100 damage, which then, in turn... Um, adds my Balefire Charger to 39,000 damage with 7,500 heat damage. That's actually incredible. That is absolutely insane. That's absolutely insane. 60% chance to uh, proc the Corrosive as well. It's absolutely insane. So it, it's a good build, I feel like. Um, it's it's certainly uh, certainly out there, like complete contrast between these two, uh, utilizing the, the, the two of the four different abilities. Um, moving on to the Balefire Charger, this is the most standard build, this is fairly easy, this is all pistol builds, Hornet Strike, Barrel Diffusion, Lethal Torrent, like we've seen 101 different times, uh, Pistol Pestilence and Pathogen Rounds to add the Corrosive, um, and then Jolt to add more Corrosive, and then Scorch to add the Heat, and then Auger Pact to round the whole thing off with more damage. It's fairly, fairly, fairly simple. Uh, I tried the Crit build, it was awful, 13% Crit. Don't do that. It's not worth your time. This is definitely the build to go for. Um, and yeah, I formed it once just so I could fit Auger Pact on, and I didn't want to form it again because I feel like this is this is a nice build. You could probably stuff more 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 damage, less status, more status, less damage, etc. etc. But I feel like this this is fine. This is okay. This does the job. A few more things that make Hildren uh, quite strong is the Carrier Prime, so well, Carrier, I say Carrier, um, any Sentinel I'm pretty sure. So there's two mods on here uh, that really, really help out her shields. Number one is Shield Charger, increases max shields by 60% and Shield Regeneration by 60% for 10 seconds, which is absolutely amazing, especially on a Shield-based hero, uh, hero uh, Shield-based Warframe. Um, this is just going to give you more shields over time. It, this is great. This is just great survivability, yada, yada, yada. This one is absolutely brilliant. Guardian boosts owner's shields by 100% when it runs out. So when you hit that zero and you go invulnerable, it goes straight back up to 4,000 and you can go and recast your ultimate and fly around for the next half an hour um, and then do it all again. Uh, so this 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 mod is great. Um, I'm pretty sure you can put these robotic. I'm pretty sure you can put these on most sentinels. But I've got Carry Prime, obviously, because Carry Prime is king. Um, yeah, those two mods will really, really help out the test. I just want to say now that this is um, with a few hours testing. Uh, obviously, I am one person. I am in no means an expert. I just wanted to share my build, uh, get some thoughts on it. Um, if you want it changed, if you feel like this could be different or could be stronger in some other variation, um, feel free to let me know down in the comments. And yeah, let's get to testing. The first test I'm going to do is main survival. Um, it's fairly standard. I'm going to show you what the Balefire can do. Even though it's on the less damage, I can cast it more, yada yada. It's more useful for like longer games, etc, etc. Um, I will quickly show you what the W does, like the range. So the range is fairly standard. You just cast it. They go straight back in, cast it, straight back in, and that's that's it. So when you get caught out, you get pulled down, CC'd yourself, you stand up, cast this, bang, you've got loads of shields, and you're good to go. Um, and hopefully you will have enough resistances on your slash proc to with adaptation or antitoxin or aviator. Um, Balefire, so it's just standard, it's like a secondary. Uh, I don't charge it up, you don't need to, absolutely pointless. Uh, more damage, but really it's fine it's fine uh, if you stand over shields energy you get more shields um, this is fairly standard cast your ultimate you just fly up into the air and you can play anthem for like 10 minutes and you can rain the pain with your 
I look, I'm like I'm doing the thriller here. So uh, yeah, you can just do the, you can just play Anthem. It's great. You're just playing Anthem right now. It's just literally it. Uh, that's fairly standard. And then you cast your, uh, your mine's on E, but it's three. And it's just a passive shield, shield buff to your allies and damage, and it drains your shields. It's fine as long as you stand here. I'm only joking. Um, so the test. Like Brozeem, who I love to watch, uh, does these like control tests, level 100. I'm just doing Grenier, Bombard, Ballista, Heavy Gunner, all that stuff. You know, some weak units. Um, and I'll just show you what she can do. So level 100 Grenier on this build. I just cast my fall. Flap into there. Cast my Q. And just start whacking away. And as you can see, I'm making very, very light work of these enemies. Even though they're level 100. It's, uh, you are very, very strong. As you can see, my shields are going down very fast, but it's fine. Absolutely fine. Um, when I hit zero, you'll see. Hopefully I can kill these enemies before I hit zero. It's fine if I don't. So yeah, I'm absolutely chunking them on this build. It's, it's grand. The only problem is, like, these, these, these heavy units, so I'm invulnerable now for my passive, and there you go, 4,300 straight back again from my sentinel, just recast, if I go, if I get near him, I can CC him, there you go, so he's CC'd now, I can just whirl away, uh, obviously bombards are very heavily armoured, even with all the corrosive and stuff you're doing, um, it's fairly standard, I'm just playing Anthem, it's great, honestly, 27,000 on that crit, it was great, so yeah, that's Hildren. Um, so her second second set is I don't I'm not gonna show you what it's like fighting. Oh I missed one. I will kill them and reset them anyway. So kill. I will pause the AI and I will just show you what she does uh, with her W and her E. So basically, you go near them with this, you cast, stays up for a few seconds. You get them all in range, and bang, I've got 5,500 shields. And then all you got to do is cast your E, it goes down, and now I'm passively attacking them, but I'm also shielding my allies, if I had allies here, and obviously you just go around, bang, 5,500, like that. Uh, it's great, also you can cast Balefire, um, I preferably wouldn't use it with your ultimate just because of the drain, obviously you're using your E as a support build, but yeah, you're going to absolutely... Like, this is just clicking. This is just clicking. And you're... If you charge it... Great. It's it's not worth your time. Just click. It's fine. Just a simple click. Or attack if you're on console. Uh, whatever the button is. So, yeah. Um, that is Hildren. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please just... Just... Whatever. I don't even care. I don't even want to fucking say the stupid words. S subscribe whatever don't subscribe cool uh but what i will say is if you dislike this uh this build just tell me down in the comments uh tell me what you think should be changed obviously hildren has been out less than 24 hours um i've barely had time to play around with her and stuff see what she can do um if you feel like there's something else i'm missing please just tell me down in the comments um i'm open to suggestions and I thank you for watching, and I will see you again soon. Peace. Ah, this is dog shit. I cut this out, it's fine. I'll do this again. Um, a few more things to add to... Oh, fuck, you need to fuck off now or I'll kill you.